In these 5 seconds, 60,000 plastic bags have been used in the United States. What are you doing about it? Plastic. It has been around us for about a hundred years and yet, the first piece created is still floating somewhere in the ocean. Just look around you, what do you see? A pen? Food containers? Water bottles? I bet that there is something made out of plastic somewhere there because, I can't deny it, it has become part of our daily lives. What? You don't believe me? Let me tell you a riddle. Who is that who is that whom you share your meal? Whom you study with? Who you see in the morning, midday and before you sleep? Yes, you guessed it, it is plastic. But why do we use it so much? Well, plastic is easy and cheap to produce. It is lightweight and convenient. It is versatile and durable. Yes, it is durable, and this is the cause of all of our problems. Why? Well, drop a ketchup bottle on the floor and you'll be thankful for the polyethylene terephthalate, a kind of plastic more commonly known as PET, which kept your precious ketchup safe. However, drop now the same bottle into the sea and you will probably have second thoughts, because that bottle will stay there forever. To be able to understand the incredible durability of this material, we must first know how plastics are made. Time for a science class. Don't worry, I will make it fun. Plastics are made out of a combination of oils, chemicals and gases to create very large chains of molecules called polymers. Manufacturers then shape this mixture into tiny plastic pellets. These very small pieces of plastic are then melted and processed in special plants where they are converted into a variety of different products, such as bottles, toys, bags and much more. Then, they are transported to stores where you go, buy them, use them and, finally, throw them away. This is when the problem begins, because your plastic bottle will not stay in that bin forever. Trucks collect all that garbage and throw it into the sea. Once plastic leaves land, surface currents transport it to one of the five oceanic gyres that now exist in the world's seas. These are massive vortexes where trash accumulates. It's in these places where thousands of animals die each year by getting entangled in the mass of plastics or even by eating them, thinking, for example, that a bottle cap is a delicious fish. So yes, plastic pollution is a big deal. It is a global problem, which is exactly why we must solve it together, hand by hand, because it is our earth, it is our home. I understand, plastic may seem to be essential in nowadays society, but that is the key, it seems to be. So, what can you do? Replace your plastic bottle of water with a reusable one, you will be contributing greatly. Get involved in any activities which could help the oceans, collect plastics from the beach and try to teach people that they are killing millions of animals, plants and even humans who later ingest these poisonous chemicals. Replace disposable plastic bags with bags made out of fabric, which you can use them again and again. Stop buying products which are packaged using excessive amounts of plastic. Go for the natural things. It will be a difficult journey, I know. But hey, you are more than just plastic. The future of the Earth is in your hands. We are running out of time, but we still have an opportunity to take action. And remember, it is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. So, what will you choose? Save the oceans, save the animals, save the Earth, save yourself.